friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's good to see you. So this is just carrying on from last week's video. This is day three. I found this hut behind me as I was fishing up through here yesterday and I started to find fish up here. It's a good long way from where I was staying the last couple of nights, eight or nine K. So what I did was I got up super early this morning, put everything into my big pack here and I've just hiked that up to this hut where I'm going to stay tonight and I'm going to fish up past where I fished yesterday hopefully I still find fish and I'll stay here tonight and it just saves me going all the way back there tomorrow and if there's still water then I'll fish up there tomorrow as well for my last day and then I'll just take all of this back down to meet the helicopter the morning probably the morning of the morning that I fly out does that make sense? <laughs> yeah long old hike I started to get some pretty good blisters on the way home last night and I've just added some blisters on top of those blisters walking here this morning. So my feet are in pretty bad shape to be honest. I've got blister pads, I keep my eye on them. Hopefully they don't get too much worse. Once I'm in the river, they should feel much, much better. And I don't have to walk too far back at the end of the day today. Anyway, I'm gonna sort my life out, <laughs> get some fishing gear sorted, have a snack, and then we'll jump in the river. Try to find some fish. Talk you through what I'm using today. Based on what I saw yesterday and how small the water gets, I'm going to be okay with a five weight up there. So yeah, it's a good opportunity to use this guy, which I've been enjoying. I'll put the six weight away and I'll take it with me in case I manage to break this one. Hello, hello. Sorry. <laughs> so I'll put this guy in here and I'll use that uh, five weight, nine foot five mid flex rod with no name. I don't know much about it rod just because it's a cool rod and I like using it. I don't know if you can see this guy look right. Oh sorry sir <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you buddy. They're pretty cheeky the old workers if they can steal stuff they will. I uh, chase one down and get my GoPro battery back from it once. Had some little hot dog sausages he took off with those pretty quickly and then if you leave your clothes like pretty close to ground level overnight you'll find them strewn around the campsite the next day they're, they're pretty cheeky. It's a real shame we don't have them in the North Island. I think they're great. Oh, I think they're awesome. That's a net. It's not for you. What you doing? Hello. Hello. They don't ever really show any fear of you, which is cool. Okay, so I got distracted. So I've got the the Orvis uh, nine foot five mid flex rod with no name rod five weight sorry buddy i just need to string my rod up so i've got that guy there i've got the uh mirage lt orange burnt orange reel there's a as usual scientific anglers infinity smooth five weight line on that reel seven foot floating poly leader to a tippet ring and then i've got probably seven foot three x oh to not much four x so i'll change that over right now all right, we'll talk about an arm's length of 4X. Put those tag ends in my bag because I don't want old mate there getting onto them. I'm just gonna put a elk hair caddis on, transport flight, then suss it out when I get in front of a fish. All right, elk hair caddis, transport fly. That's good to go. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go and... Uh, Go and get on the river, try and find a fish. I'm loving the inReach. It's so good. So I'm just basically was there just updating Elena on where I am. Told her I changed my plan last night. Told her I've reached the hut this morning. That was a message just going. Uh, just so she knows my movements. Really, really cool piece of kit. Uh, 
All right, so that dry dropper wasn't getting anywhere near that fish. So I'm gonna go 101 and set one off the bend and then tiny indicator. Just make sure he sees these flies. Whatever he ends up doing, he's gonna see them. Eat them, ignore them, or spook off them. You'll see them. That'll keep it up. That's what she said. <laughs> Looking, looking. We looked. Ah, oh, he's gone. Pretty good line. He's right there. Got him. Yes. Ooh, wait. Where are you going? Oh, he's going up. You are. Jeez. See you under that rock. Dude! Dude! Oh. It's not very often you end up in the pool above. It's not a bad place to actually try and land you. No, 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 come back this way. Oh no, he is hooked properly. Oh yes! Oh man, what a spectacular fish. That was awesome. Um, just, well, it was the second drift, but first good drift. And he just nobbled it. It's not very often the fish runs you 100 meters or so upstream into the next pool. I thought he was foul hooked for a second, but now nah, it was all legit. He was just a super strong fish, just beautiful. Really cool, man. Um, sun's out, sun's out, gun's out. Got a fish on the board, stonking. Looked and didn't want it. Got him! Yes, yes, yes! Ho 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 ho! Ooh, that's a good fish. Oh, super deep. Well, it feels solid. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Ah. 
He's got me on something. Oh, that's crushing. <laughs> that is crushing. Just trying to change my angle. I'm pretty sure this fish is gone. Uh oh, no, no, he's still on. For now, I don't like where he is though. He's a long way away, he's down deep, and I know there's a snag down there. And I'm on 5x. Oh, he is way over there. Chunky monkey. No, 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 no. Let's not go back down there. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh. What a beautiful fish. fish of the trip yeah oh yeah <laughs> Woo. mate mate you were worth some blisters is a mega fish wow Mate, I'm one happy boy. That was epic. Sat there for about 15 minutes until that fish came along the edge. She looked at looked at a fly before, didn't want to know. So I changed over to a peacock pointer and then a tiny little like size 18 unweighted pheasant tail off, off the tip of that. Sat there for about another 15 minutes and waited. Then I saw her kind of pop along the edge here, pop my cast out and the uh, flies landed she kind of looked up and she came up 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 and then oomp, saw her mouth go and then she was on what a fish fish of the trip easily i don't know how big probably pushing 10 i'd say if she's not 10 she was pretty close and just perfect condition like small head massive shoulders mint stoked about that because i almost didn't come up to this this next piece of water just because my feet are so sore but stoked that i did so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cap it here. It's three o'clock. I mean, I didn't even see a fish until like after 12. So it's a, a lot of walking, a lot of looking, a bit of limping, uh, not much seeing, and then happy to, to finish with two fish and then cap it with that. that was, that's amazing. So I'm gonna slowly walk back to the hut. Hopefully I'll be back there by like four, 4.30, and then I'll just chill out, uh, dry my feet out a bit, see what kind of state they're in, and then, um, yeah just chill out at the hut for the night and then tomorrow I will come back up here and push up further and see what's up there so worth it do the mahi get the rewards
I'm back. I'm back at the hut. I've eaten some delicious vegetable curry. I would have shown you, but as you can see, it's pretty dark behind me, and I just, uh, yeah, I can't light it well enough to film really well at all. So basically, what I'm going to do now, pour a whiskey, sit down, uh, watch some Netflix on my phone, and just put my feet up. So when I got back and got my boots off, my feet are a mess. The blisters have just got bigger and blisters on blisters and yeah it's not good. I would show you but that's pretty gross uh, so I'm not gonna do that. Just have to take my word for it. Not too sure, not too sure. I'm just gonna keep them up, get some air to them tonight, see how they are in the morning and I'll make a call in the morning about what I'm gonna do. In the meantime get some air to them, don't stand on them and see what happens in the morning. I'll uh, update you in the a.m. See you in the morning. I feel much better today. So, yesterday, yesterday was tough. I was in a lot of pain yesterday with my feet. Got some more blisters around and on top of the blisters I already had from the night before. So, by the time I got to here and then was ready to fish upstream, I was struggling to be honest. Like, it was really slow going. Yeah, so I looked after them last night, got some air to them, put them up, put some dressings on them, and then this morning it seems actually way, way better. Um, but I was wanting to say, if you've never heard of these things, they're called Compede. Compede, they're like blister packs. These have saved my butt countless times now. Oh, I've actually only got one left now. I always have at least at least a packet. I think there's like six in a packet, but I always have at least six or eight with me. And I've gone through most of those this trip. But they're basically these things. They're like they're like kind of padded, squidgy, super sticky pads. So if you do have a blister or anything like that, you just pop that over there. And they actually, even wet waiting, they, they stay on for days. They're really good. Get them from the supermarket or the chemist. But yeah, lifesavers. Last night I texted the heli company from my inReach and just asked them if they could pick me up up here tomorrow morning rather than where we originally planned down to where I started. And they said that was fine. So this has just paid for itself, 100%. Just wash up my breakfast stuff and then I'm gonna hike up to where I finished off yesterday and then push up from there. If I can get like one more fish just to sign off the trip, that would be amazing. I'd be super stoked about that. Let's get it done. Good. You might be gone. Clock, it's lunchtime. It actually took me ages to get up here. A couple of reasons. Well, one, I went a lot further yesterday than I thought I did. And secondly, I kind of stopped off. I saw a couple of fish, tried to catch them, couldn't, didn't. Uh, so that slowed me down a little bit. But um, I got up to where I finished yesterday and then the river kind of splits and goes really, really bony. Kind of goes off in a couple of different directions. So I think I'm still in the main river, but it's super small now. I was just like, ah, this doesn't look like it's gonna hold fish. Just pushed up one little bit more. And it's kind of a nice run, but there's not there's nothing like the main river downstream. And then I saw this tank of a fish just cruising down the inside bank towards me. So I just dropped 
into this little divot and I'm just sitting here and waiting to see if I can pick him up again. I'll have a bite to eat, see if I can find him and if I can he's well worth taking some time to try and catch. It's a big big fish. Just sitting here just finishing my snack. Just watching him cruise up and down. trying to work out what might be the might be the way to go. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little peacock pointer on here. It's a little bit of soft hackly movement goodness. There's barely any flow in there. It's like a little lake. Uh, and I might tie something really small off of that too and just double up on my chances. I'm thinking about how um, how to get a fly to him without spooking him. There's no real cover. I don't think I'm gonna get many shots. So try and make the one shot that I do get a good one. Okay, so I'm gonna go unweighted size 16 pheasant tail soft tackle off the bend of a size 14 peacock pointer. You know that guy? Off of an elk hair caddis. So that's all on 5x2. So now I've just gotta find the fish, get in position, wait for the right time, put out the right cast. Hopefully it's the right flies in the right place at the right time and the fish wants to eat them. Should see these turned away. Swim right by him. Got him. Yes. Cool. Now it got interesting. This guy doesn't even know he's hooked yet, I don't think. Oh yeah. We've got a big fish on now, people. What do you say we just... Just do this easy, hey buddy? Do this easy? Just oof, trying to get his head up, man. It is difficult. It's just heavy, 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 heavy. What if we come this way? How'd that be? Come this way, bro. Oh, good God, what a fish. Fish. 
Unreal, it was bigger than I thought it was. Well over 10 pound, maybe, I don't know, well over 10 pound. Uh, what a spectacular fish, that's it. Fish of the trip, trip made. I don't care what happens now. Not much, I'd imagine, because I spent a good hour on that fish. It's one o'clock, yeah, I'll mosey on up there, but really, phew, that's the way to sign off this trip, that's for sure. Well, I think you can safely say I have tested out this five weight, whatever it's called from Orvis, and it can handle the jandal. Right, I'm gonna uh, maybe have a drink and just kind of calm down a little bit. That was, that was spectacular, what a fish. So I pushed up a, uh, another two or three pieces of water above where I caught that fish um, and it just just getting skinnier and skinnier and bonier and bonier and there's just no holding water there at all it just seems like the water's running out so kept it turned around I'm gonna work my way back downstream to where the river gets bigger and what I might do then is just maybe nymph some of those really deep pools I walk past on the way up and just slowly fish my way back down those deep pieces of water to the hut. It's good enough for me. I, I did what I came here to do and that's catch one more fish for the trip. Uh, it was a good fish. It was pretty, pretty, pretty good. That, that's my plan. Just, just tinker my way back downstream, fish the odd deep pool, see what happens. Everybody, how you doing? So I got back last night and had some butter chicken and mashed potato for dinner. Finished off the last of the whiskey and then just pretty much chilled out and got an early night. I'm pretty knackered, pretty, pretty pooped. So this morning I've got nothing to do apart from just pack up all my stuff, wait for the helicopter to turn up, and then we out of here. Hello, Good man. back at the truck back at the car uh, that was super cool what a cool cool trip really enjoyed that looking forward to editing this one just super stoked to have gone in there and spent some time it was just an amazing amazing place big shout out and a huge thank you to Karamia heli charters there's just so much water in in this area to explore and fish and these guys know how to get around they're super cool super friendly super professional and they're the guys to use so if you're ever around this area and you want to explore one of the hundreds and hundreds of rivers in this area get in touch with those guys i'll link them in the description below and they'll uh, they'll look after you there's just so much water here it's stupid anyway thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed please hit the button join the team help me grow the channel all right i'm gonna get changed and then hatch a plan maybe go and get some food have a shower find somewhere to sleep tonight have yourselves a great week, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.